A Colorado police officer has pled guilty to third degree assault after absolutely brutal body cam footage has been released of his treatment of a man that he was arresting. Now, I am going to warn you, as we often do, this is both not safe for work and difficult to stomach. We are not exaggerating. Trust us on this. We're going to show you there's going to be two sections of this. In the first, you're going to see them restraining and then beating this man who is hand, uh, handcuffed eventually simply because he lashed out one time at a police officer. Oh, wow. You're out of the car, aren't uh -huh. you? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I didn't try to rob him or the up. I'm serious. I didn't. Stand up. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. such a difficult video to watch because the brutality is so evident the man is restrained he's handcuffed he's not fighting back and you see this officer Mark Magnus hitting him over and over again it's so sick and the part of it that's even more sickening is he has a history of doing this back mm. in 2009 he was found guilty of using excessive force and you know he was punished severely for it okay uh, he had a misdemeanor and he had to pay $517 in fines in that case. Now fast forward to today, he does this knowing full well that it's being surveilled, yeah. knowing full well that he's wearing a body cam, and that doesn't stop him. Why doesn't that stop him? Because he's emboldened by his past experiences mm -hmm. and the lack of consequences that he had to face for using excessive force. It's disgusting. Yeah, he thinks that he's going to get off because he has previously gotten off and he knows that police officers from around the country have gotten off. Uh, we can only speculate maybe the body camera did affect him. Maybe he would have been even more fucking savage if it hadn't been for the body camera. What does, what does stop resisting mean? What does resisting mean? He did this. From a seated position, with an open hand, he pushed out against the cop. Look, don't do that. Because now, apparently, in the same way that, that Jenk often says, like, uh, a young, unarmed black man will commit the crime of looking at a cop in a way that they don't like, if you do this, you have then opened yourself up to being thrown on the ground and then have, like, I could, if I was trying to kill a man, I couldn't have attacked him more savagely than they attacked that guy because he pushed at them with an open hand. Two cops from a seated position as he was being restrained, he pushed with an open hand and so he needs to be thrown to the ground. They just keep yelling, stop resisting. Doesn't matter if he is fucking re actually resisting. Just keep saying it in case your body is blocking what the body cam can actually see. Then you would probably get off. If we couldn't see clearly your arm rising and falling more than a dozen times in one fucking video. Let's talk about prison for a second and what the whole purpose of prison was supposed to be about. Prison is supposed to be a place that we send people that are a threat to society, right? People who could cause great harm to other individuals. Of course, it's also used for punitive reasons. And honestly, in today's current justice system, it's, I feel like it's only used for punitive reasons. No rehabilitation, no trying to keep people safe. It's all about, let's just throw people in prison. Mm -hmm. I want every drug offender out of prison right now in an actual rehabilitation center if they have a serious, severe issue with drugs. They're smoking pot. I don't give a shit. Smoke as much pot as you want. I want people like this officer yeah. in prison. I don't want him to pay a fine. I don't want him to just get fired. He needs to be in prison. This man is a threat to society. Yeah. So why is it that we underutilize prisons for actual violent offenders like these police officers, but we throw all of these nonviolent offenders in there for doing something like, I don't know, possess possessing a joint? We had reported a story about a woman who was using cannabis oil for her Crohn's disease. She's facing 30 years in prison for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
and this cop is getting a fine yeah. for well, look, excessive he pled guilty, force. At the very least, that's more than we normally get. And, and some blind, ignorant defenders of the cops are going to say, well, look, if you put a camera on someone and then they go through the whole career, everybody snaps at some point. Yeah. Like, think back to your job. If you had had a camera on you for the past 10 years, the past 20 years, have you ever done anything like that? You, there are some things that we allow you to get away with. You get one. You don't get one of this. You don't you get don't, to viciously don't. beat a man. And look, if you, think, if you think that we're being too harsh, let's roll the second video. You'll see it gets oh. even more graphic in this one. people who are watching this right now who had commented in previous videos where police brutality was used against African Americans and you use terminology like thugs and they deserved it oh they're criminals just keep in mind while you watch this video mm -hmm. that no one is safe it doesn't matter what your race is when you allow cops to use this type of force on anyone well then they're gonna go ahead and use it on anyone they want okay yeah. so it goes beyond a race issue are black individuals disproportionately targeted by police absolutely but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're safe from this type of brutality yeah yeah I, I don't know if our audio is up but as we were watching it he's on a fucking rampage in there the, the, the guy that they're gonna be isn't even in the room he's throwing stuff around the room if you were a cop there would you feel safe working with this guy do you want to be next to this guy when he draws his weapon in the field this guy who can't control one fucking ounce of his anger. This is Federal Heights Officer Mark Magnus. Now, he has pled guilty, but that's not good enough. No, you need to go back through his record. In 2009, as you pointed out, he pled guilty. He got a misdemeanor for using excessive force against Dennis Disqua. No, you need to go back through all of his interactions with a fine-tooth comb. Go back to when this guy was a fucking kid. I guarantee he was killing animals. This is, like J Jimmy Dore always says, they're animals. Now, all cops are not animals. I'm not crazy. I'm not going that far. This guy is a fucking animal. And he has been bred into an animal of this sort by a society that tolerates violence, that glorifies violence domestically and internationally, and a, a national police force that has defended almost universally guys like this in past events. Thankfully, today we have body cameras so we could see it. Can you imagine if we were reporting this without the footage? Would anyone believe our no account of what was going on? Would anyone believe Kent Lasnik, the man in the video? Would anyone fucking believe his account? No, the body camera is the least we can do. And even with that, guys like Eric Garner get choked out on the streets in New York City. Even body cameras aren't enough. It gives us just a little glimpse into the darkness at the core of American police forces. 